Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's have a look at the Ascension version of uh, Pandora, uh, the limited character that uh, usually appears in the uh, Legends Hatcher. And uh, yeah, she's currently ranked uh, number one in the JP game, uh, even now, maybe half a year after she was released. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at her and uh, see why. Um, Stats-wise, uh, she's very solid, uh, except for her speed. This is crazy high speed for a bounce type. And then it's weird because she is a blast type, and then typically blast types have uh, lower stats overall. Uh, but she's like a super speed type. <laughs> and then uh, looking at her abilities, she has Null Damage Wall and Null Wind uh, passive in her. Uh, having Null Damage Wall passive in her is always good. There's no chance of a uh, mishap in the Damage Wall. And then a Null Wind in a certain situations, I can't think of any right now, but in certain situations is uh, good for her. And then uh, she has a new ability on the gauge, and that's a uh, Gives Barrier. And uh, the way this works, um, if she hits all three of her teammates in one turn, uh, then the last teammate that she hits uh, will get a barrier, uh, similar to what uh, Lucifer has. And uh, this is uh, very interesting, because uh, in theory, every round uh, you could give a new barrier to someone. And uh, this is great, because it prevents damage, of course, um, but actually, uh, but also that barrier can uh, prevent damage from one hit in a damage wall or one mine or something. And so actually, if you were very, very um, kind of tricky about it, you could, you know, enable one of your characters uh, to get that barrier. And then on that character's next turn, uh, you could use it to hit a damage wall once or a mine once and then not take any damage. Um, that's a very high like skill level kind of play, and I think most of us are just going to ignore it, myself included. Uh, but that is a possibility for that um, Gibbs Barrier. Okay, and then the uh, Strike Shot. Uh, this is a new Strike Shot where she splits into five, and then uh, whenever herself or one of her four um, duplicates hits another one of your teammates, uh, they join the, uh, the Command Strike Shot. So technically, it's not a Grand Command Strike Shot, uh, but the chances of one of the uh, images hitting your other teammates is so high uh, that it might as well be a Grand Command Strike Shot. <laughs> and so, yeah, when this character was announced, I saw the uh, Gives Barrier ability, and I saw this like improved Grand Command Strike Shot. Uh, and then I also saw the Dark Bounce Null Damage Wall. And I thought, this character is just totally outclassing uh, Lucifer. And so when I saw all this, and then also with uh, Joan of Arc's uh, Transcendent form, where she picks up the uh, Blast-type Energy Circle L, I thought, all right, now's maybe a good time to upgrade Lucifer, uh, since all of her best abilities are being either duplicated or improved upon by other characters. Um, so maybe we can see a new form of uh, Lucifer fairly soon. That's my guess, anyway. All right, and then finally, we'll look at the uh, bump combo. And then uh, this is kind of the number one reason why people use uh, Pandora. Uh, she has the uh, follow-up piercer, uh, but she has two of them. And then on top of that, uh, she is blast type. So she is at least twice as powerful as uh, D'Artagnan with her bump combo. And um, yeah, she's kind of changed the game. People uh, will bring Pandora and then you know build teams around her in order to take advantage of her bump combo. And then uh, kind of like how Lucifer was used uh, way back when, um, people are taking Pandora to any quest, uh, regardless of gimmick, um, just because that uh, bump combo is so strong. Um, so yeah, let's do that exact thing here. Uh, we will take her to the impossible quest that was up when I was doing this video, and that is for uh, Izanagi. And then uh, gimmicks for Izanagi are damage walls and warps. Um, so yeah, Pandora does address the damage walls, but not the warps. And then uh, all of the other characters that I'm using, they are Pierce with a Null Warp, and then a couple of them have uh, Blast Bump combos, and this is all done just to take advantage of the uh, Blast-type follow-up piercer. So the, uh, the first character that I'm using here is a Suzidon Ascension, and um, I really like Suzidon, both of his versions. Uh, but I almost never use him. There's not a lot of places to use him in. Uh, but he is a Pierce with a Null Warp, and then uh, he has a Fire Resistance. 
and a uh, Blast Bump combo in order to help get out more of a Pandora's Bump combo. And then a, a Meteor Strike Shot, which is just as strong as uh, like the standard version of Zeus or a Hera, so very, very strong. Uh, next up, I'm using a Mad Hatter, the Ascension version. Uh, also a Pierce with um, no warp. And then uh, he has a Strike Shot where he becomes a Bounce. In certain situations, this can be really good, like um, in Izanagi Zero, when you want to get a lot of hits in on the healing wall. Uh, but here, not so much because of the damage walls, so uh, we will not use his Strike Shot here. And then, finally, we're using uh, Van Gogh, the Ascension version. Uh, she's another Pierce with a Null Warp. Uh, she also has a Blast Bump combo, like uh, Suzuron. And then uh, she has a Strike Shot where she does extra damage in a boss's weak point. Uh, but yeah, the team is built just to uh, take advantage of uh, Pandora's uh, Bump combo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as we can see, it is awesome. And um, I do like the uh, follow-up piercer more than Plasma. Uh, they kind of work a little bit uh, similarly, uh, but the, um, the uh, follow-up piercer will pierce, obviously. Um, so it can do, uh, you know, it can hit more guys than a uh, Plasma could. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> and then um, Pandora's uh, follow-up piercer has two uh, elements. Uh, one of them is uh, dark, and then the other is water. So she does extra good in uh, fire quests. Uh, but uh, yeah, even in wood quests, uh, she can do great damage. <laughs> Pretty good. And actually, I don't think we're going to see the uh, Gives Barrier ability at all during this quest. Um, because with all of the warps, it was too difficult for me to hit everybody with Pandora. Um, but not a big deal, as we shall see. Yikes, big damage. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it might be interesting to try Pandora in a variety of impossible quests. Um, just to see how she does, and then also to see like what uh, monsters would be available, or are really uh, good for her in those quests. Yeah, pretty good. So yeah, here's uh, Yamato Takeru, one of the uh, more difficult uh, mini-boss stages of this mission. Uh, but with this team, I'm feeling all right about it. And then, uh, yeah, my three uh, Null Warp guys, uh, they don't have a uh, Null Damage Wall, uh, but the Damage Walls aren't so bad here. As long as we get through the uh, missions, uh, the, through the levels quickly, should be alright. Okay, final uh, mini-boss stage, and then um, I'm going to work towards the bottom of the screen, uh, since that's an advantageous position to have uh, for the last stage. Phew! <laughs> About half of the uh, boss's life there. Okay, and then um, a couple of the uh, characters on this team, they are uh, demi-humes, which will take extra damage from the uh, fell mains. Um, so I'd like to get rid of the uh, Fell Mains um, first, if I can. Uh, 
Uh, here I just want to maintain my positioning, so we'll just do a uh, left to right. Ouch. <laughs> All right, so this should do it, and then we'll uh, move on to the boss stage. Okay, again, we'll just uh, stay towards the bottom of the screen. Very good. Okay, Suzidon will take that damage, but uh, not that bad. And then uh, here I do not want to take down both of the uh, little guys. Um, so I have to be kind of careful about how I use uh, Pandora's bump combo. Oh, and I guess uh, Pandora is a uh, demi-hume as well, so... <laughs> Okay, just biding our time here. Okay, uh, so here we have a Pandora Strike Shot uh, ready. Uh, so let's go ahead and use that. Um, I am very uh, confident that I will be able to take down the two little guys. Um, so the turn after this, I'm going to have to get rid of the boss. And then hopefully do enough damage uh, with this strike shot that uh, next turn shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, so we took down the two little guys. We took away maybe 70% of the uh, boss's HP bar. And then now he is in angry mode, so we have one turn to take him down. Uh, thankfully, I have a Suzidon and then a Pandora in perfect position. So we'll get a lot of the uh, follow-up piercer in there and take him out. Okay, so that was uh, Izanagi with a uh, Pandora-oriented uh, team. And uh, yeah, that was interesting. And then I'll see if I can try this in other uh, Impossible quests. Okay, uh, we'll see you again. Take care.